currently Thursday. Um, at like 9.30 at night. I'm going to, I have to put together a new bookshelf because this one is overflowing. Plus, I have like a huge haul to do. So, we got a new bookshelf to put together. We're gonna paint a bathroom this week, our bathroom this weekend. I'm gonna time lapse me putting this bookshelf together and then moving, taking everything off this one, moving this one because they're both going to go over here. It's super stressing me out to have to like reorganize all this because I'm not loving what it looks like now anyway. So being able to like let my books breathe and have some room, not be all like shoved together and on top of each other is gonna be really nice. So time lapse, this, putting this together while I watch some TV. And then I'll show you when it's all put together. Cause that's what makes sense, right? Yeah. See you in a few. Sorry, ring light. Where you leave, I will follow. books I'm not a hundred percent sure yet what I'm going to do how I want to organize them um this is my biggest stressor with organizing because I don't know if I want to do them color if I want to do them author if I want to do them genre so it's, it's a lot hi everybody it is Friday um and it's like almost seven o'clock at night and I'm gonna do my makeup because I have to film a video. Um, so, I figured I would chat with you guys while I did that. I've got nothing done today. My children had checkups all day. So, getting anything done was impossible. So, most of my videos I do film at night. Just because I can put them to bed and not have to like worry. What foundation do I want to use? This is this Beauty Blender foundation that I don't know if it's my color from TJ Maxx. Do I use it? Or do I trust it? I know I love this for beauty foundation. It looks pretty somewhere in color. Where did my sponge go? There it is. Don't need to have 
this video today. Mm. Not me. Popping like you can answer. So I'm gonna film a video, and hopefully I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna paint some of hmm, our bathroom today. And then I have a photo shoot tomorrow. I have a Thanksgiving on Sunday. I'm gonna try to and, and upload the video I'm filming today, which will be a book haul which I will already have seen by the time this goes up. Um, I'm gonna try and edit and upload that and upload that Sunday. So I did get those bookshelves together last night and I kind of organized them and I'm not happy with it at all. So I figured we'll do the book haul and then reorganize stuff with the new books to see I'm looking at my mirror over here to see how we like it I don't know how I feel about this right now mm. it's not like super heavy coverage or anything I've actually been into more light color combination. This is not a Be Guru YouTube channel. If you want that, you can go visit um, Allie Dawson, Paige Corin, Beauty K. They'll tell you what to do with it. Because I don't know. So, I will check when it. Oh, mm, that is not where concealer goes. I'll check in with you. I'm doing my makeup. And I decide what I want to do with my hair. Bye bye. Hello, everybody. Let me turn my computer off. Hello, everybody. Um, it is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I've got, we've like done all of our like family get togethers already. So I've got a lot of work to do. I've got um, a wholesale order to deliver tomorrow. So you will be able to come wait to that. Um, I haven't vlogged like at all this week. We've all kind of been like dealing with congestion, cold crap. So um, I haven't painted yet. I will probably paint this weekend though because this is like the last work thing that I need to do for the next couple days um, and then it is paint and get ready for next weekend which is Florida I'm so happy to Florida Florida is like my favorite place in the world so I'll be blocking that and I'll kind of take you through some of my work day today and then along with me Tomorrow to Covington. So I'll check in in just a little bit after I get started. I'm working me on a holiday, and I don't get holiday pay because I'm self-employed. Cool. some sleep before 6 30 in the morning when I have to get up to go to Covington it's about a two and a half hour drive this is my third book order with them so I'm 
excited to get this to them. Kind of hang out in Covington for a little bit. Um, maybe do some shopping. See what kind of Black Friday deals they have going on. So, let you watch a time lapse of me putting all these shirts in this box. And then I'll see you tomorrow. It's winter, perfect time to say our first hello. Sweaters bundled up in cotton, knowing names that wouldn't be forgotten, laughing over our own sense of humor underneath the Christmas lights that glow. I was supposed to, um, uh, there's someone in the park next to me. I, I was supposed to wake up at 6 30 and be out the door by 7 30. Um, it's 9.08 and I'm just now getting on the road and stopping at a gas station to get me a Red Bull because I need it. This like never happens to me. I must have canceled my alarm instead of snoozing my alarm. But I usually do not ever sleep my alarm. So, um, I'm going to be a little late, which is okay. It's, it's fine. Um, I'm still going to be there in plenty of time, I think. So... I'm gonna make this two and a half hour drive on us two hours and so quickly it's Christmas time again. Sleep with Lucy again. Even two hours and seven minutes is what I have left. Busy, um we still so have time to talk for us. Drive, drop these shirts off and we will take a tour around Covington and see what all it has to offer. I'm glad I got to know Realizing that I never told you that Covington is where the Vampire Diaries was filmed. So here's a short tour of where the Vampire Diaries was filmed. Um, sorry for not mentioning that. I don't know how I missed it. Bye. driving tour um we jump out at a couple places this is the 12x bed breakfast it is um super cute really great place to stay um they have a salvatore boarding like room kind of look um it's really beautiful um so definitely come check it out if you come stay walk down the sidewalk just a little bit um to what was becca's um mystic falls house she threw a party there and um there's like one big scene where you can see the house really well so we're gonna walk down to it real quick uh, these are both like right kind of off church street um super easy to find everything's really close um it's definitely walkable but you're gonna be walking for a while if you do it. So, um, well folks, again, it's right back there. 
And then Rebecca's house is right here. As you can just see, um, that was the Lockwood Mansion, which is Hayward Manor, um, actually. Um, I felt kind of weird because there was other people there, so I didn't want to film. Um, but it is at the end of College Ave and East Street, I think. Um, super easy if you are at Scoops, which is the ice cream place slash candy place. Um, you just walk straight down that road. Um, with scoops on your right so it's right at the end of that road it dead ends to beautiful location um, and the best way to see um, the Lockwood Mansion is to do a tour through on location um, tours I will link them down below um, I went into their store earlier they're the ones that I actually wholesale with um, they're fantastic it's the only place to like be able to actually go on property of the mansion um, which is totally worth it. You get to see the big backyard where a lot of scenes took place. So I definitely recommend doing the tour if you're gonna come out here. Um, it's so worth it. house at Caroline's house they're actually neighbors in real life um their houses are right next door to each other um Caroline's house is actually an Airbnb verbo where you can rent it kind of situation um if I can find the link I'll leave it listed below um but if you if you do come to Covington or if you go anywhere where something was filmed please be respectful of the people that own the houses that you know and love. Um, do not walk on their property. Stay on the sidewalk. Don't walk up to their front porch. I, just as I was like standing around, I saw a lot of people doing that. So please don't do that. Um, if you go on a tour, you have permission to do that. Um, that's another reason to actually go pay for the tour instead of just walking around yourself. Um, so just, just please be respectful. So that was the beautiful Covington, Georgia, um, and just a couple places that, just a couple places that the Vampire Diaries filmed. Um, if y'all want an entire like walkthrough of everywhere, um, I can do that because I'm here like once a month. Um, so I guess I'm going to head home. Well, not home. I'm heading to back to South Carolina and going to TJ Maxx. Gonna see what kind of Christmas stuff they have. I'm um, about to run into Books Million and see what kind of Black Friday deals they have. Um, so we got a two hour drive. Um, hopefully gonna get another good chunk of Neon Gods done. Um, so let's get to driving. An hour, two, two hours and five-ish minutes. Home, so it's a long one, but we will get there.
it is currently Sunday afternoon, night, it's night, it's dark. So I'm going to be painting our bathroom, so um, there's our bathtub, it's kind of like in this little nook, and then on the other side is our toilet, so both the back half of our bathroom, we're painting this like basically black shade. So I'm going to try to get this wall and this wall done today. Um, so I'll just kind of like time lapse that while, wow. and this will probably be like the last day of this vlog. So I'm going to paint these two walls. We've still got to like spackle a couple things where we took like down the, um, <clears throat> where we took down like the towel rack. When we took down the towel rack and like the, um, toilet paper roll. So I'm gonna try to get these two done. Hopefully I can get this done before we leave, before we leave for Florida on Thursday. So that, that all that will be a completely separate vlog. about neon gods and because I finished that the other day and I have things to say. Hello, um, okay, so I'm gonna close out the vlog here. Um, I did want to talk a little bit about neon gods because I didn't really know what to expect. Gosh, are in my hair. I didn't really know what to expect with that book. Um, I knew it was a Persephone and Hades retailing, um, but it was really good. I was really surprised with how much I liked it. Um, I listened to it on audiobook, um, so I think that I am going to buy the book and read it because I feel like I'll miss some stuff. Um, I'm really curious as to if there's going to be another book because I love that. I really love her story. I was just so surprised at how much I liked it. Um, so I would definitely, I would definitely check it out if you are over the age of 18. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this mess of vlog. Um, crazy week with like Thanksgiving and all that so I didn't feel my like time I really enjoyed it and enjoyed me my little trip around Mystic Falls um I really want to go back and do like a full vlog there spend like a whole day and show you everything um if that's something that y'all would like to see so um thanks for watching this video make sure to like and subscribe